Welcome back to my channel, Yummy Bite by Sunita. Welcome to Baking Series Part 2. Are your cakes getting overweight? Do you know how much sponge to bake for 1 kg cake? Or how much should be the weight of a sponge bee for half kg cake? Today's video, I will talk about cake ratios and how to achieve the perfect weight cakes. So what is cake ratio? Cake ratio refers to the ratio of the sponge, sugar syrup and frosting. The ratio of the weight of the cake changes based on which cake and frosting you combine. So there are various types of sponges such as eggless sponge cake, Victoria sponge cake, there is eggless sponge cake which having condensed milk and curd, there is pound cake, there is chiffon cakes etc. Therefore, the weight of the sponges depends on which recipe you use. The second important thing I'll be talking about baking loss. What is baking loss? Always calculate the weight of the cake batter before baking. Once you have weighted the cake batter before baking, you should record the amount. That means you should note down the amount. Now let me give you an example. If the initial weight is 550 grams, then after baking the sponge will come into 500 grams, meaning that 50 grams has been lost due to baking. After baking, there will be generally a 10 to 15 percent loss in weight due to evaporation of liquids. There will also be some loss due to wastage like batter sticking to the bowl and spatula. So subtract 15 percent from the batter weight and that should approach give the weight of the final cake. Now number 3, very important, how to divide your ratios for any of your cakes. A good thumb rule is 40% of sponge, 35% of filling, 15% of frosting, 5% of sugar syrup or simple syrup and 5% of decoration. So let's talk about the sponge weight. How much should be the sponge weight be? Let's break it down using an example. One I'll talking of 1 kg of whipped cream, uh, whipped cream cake and one I'll be talking of 1 kg buttercream or a truffle cake. Now for truffle cake, 1 kg, you can take sponge around 450 grams to 500. You can take 100 grams of sugar syrup, 200 grams of filling and 200 grams of frosting. And for 1 kg of whipped cream cakes, you can take around 600 grams to 650 grams sponge. You can use 100 grams of sugar syrup and the rest you can use at filling and frosting. Now why is that whipped cream cake having a sponge little higher than the chocolate ganache or the buttercream? Chocolate ganache cakes are usually heavy than the whipped cream cakes due to the nature of the ingredients. Always remember when you add the weight of the ingredients, the total you will get the weight of the cake. Adjust your recipe accordingly. If you have an extra filling like caramel, praline, fresh fruit cake, then adjust the filling accordingly. So guys, today's video has come to an end. Please like, subscribe my channel for more baking series video. Until then, see you by next time.